Well, local music legend Ed Clue is discovering some newfound fame after a recent video of him playing piano went viral on Facebook with more than six and a half million views. And the Watkins Glen native, who has been sightless since birth, sat down with WENY's Isabel Garcia to talk about his passion for music. <music> Once you hear it, it's hard to turn away. World-class pianist Ed Clute recently stopped by the Hudson Manor in his hometown of Watkins Glen to give the piano a tune-up when the video, much like his fingers on the keys, took off. Born of the Clute family, which owned the original salt business in Watkins Glen, Ed developed a love of music at an early age. Well, I started playing the piano when I was three years old. My mother was my inspiration. She wanted me to, to be a musician, and uh, I started playing when I was three. She'd put me in front of the, what well, we call it a Victrola then, um, and listen to pianists uh, by the hour and pick up, uh, try and pick up the feeling for the instrument. That feeling through the music helped guide Ed on his journey. Sightless since birth, the now 76-year-old knew from childhood playing the piano was something he'd want to do forever. I started having formal training at age six. I was still learning by ear, but I, 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 I wanted to learn how to read braille music, so then I went to the School for the Blind in Batavia, New York. From there, Ed went on to study at the renowned New England Conservatory in Boston, with his music career eventually going worldwide, despite all the odds. Sometimes I'd like to be able to see, but other, other times, and I'm just as glad I don't, but uh, I, I was married and I would have loved to be able to see my wife. I had a marriage that was unbelievable. She was so great, and we were married 32 years. Ed now works as a piano tuner and also plays at certain local spots around the region, all with the hopes of bringing some peace and joy to those willing to listen. Music has been my whole life. And uh, I've tried, I try to make people happy because there's so many things th today that, or our world is, you know, going through these unrest periods where, where, uh, People need to be happier than they really are, and, and so I'm trying in my own way to make that happen. In Watkins Glen, Isabel Garcia, WENY News.